Hi everybody, in this third tutorial I'm going to discuss about the sniper. This is by far the most debatable class in MVM. You'll see someone that says it's useless, someone that is overpowered, that's curious, isn't it? The reasons because many will would kick you as a sniper, because consider it a wordless, maybe to my eyes, because many new boys love sniper. They practically screw the reputation of the class, both in MVM and in the classic Team Fortress 2, to the lowest level. Another reason is because when MVM started, the explosive headshot wasn't as powered as now. It was just like bleeding. You can see the current kill feed still showing the bleed as an icon. It was useless because you couldn't kill in one shot every medics around the giant, for example. Example. So many considered the sniper as a trash and didn't really consider the question once the sniper got highly buffed by Valve. Another reason is because until two cities update you didn't have a scoreboard where you could demonstrate your way to the others. Therefore many were used to consider sniper worthless, despite him may be the top scorer of the group. Finally, being your job in the back lines, not in the front lines, you won't show much of your work to your teammates. It's far easier to see people playing well while playing demo man or soldier because of the spam, the great spam they can unleash and everybody in the team can see about it. The role of the sniper is called the medic picker, like the demo man, because your job is kill small uber medics or wreck the giant medics as well. As long as you max out your explosive headshot, you soon will become a crowd control machine, not only for the medics. So. Thus, as a sniper, your primary objective is first upgrade explosive headshot. Since first wave, then you hang at the giant's head as soon as possible before your teammates start firing. This way, all the medics around will die in just one shot. Of course, if there aren't giants around, you can focus on medic or any other ads and you crowd control every robot in the radius around the target. So, do not go for body shots. Change class, become a soldier or a heavy if you suck aiming at heads. Anyway, you know that Sniper, contrary to some misbelief, shines in harder difficulties, the missions full of giants that are slow target. So, sweet and perfect target for you. With max damage, you can assess like 900 damage per shot in the head of the giant. The machina can overcome even 1000. So, now let's speak about your most precious upgrade, as I said, the explosive headshot. It has three different levels that gives the following. First level, activate the function, the function that damages all the robots in a small radius around the picket head. At level 1, this damage is around 150, so just the need for killing a medic, but the damage spread can lower or rise that. Level 2 rises the damage at 175 more or less and rises the radius as well. Level 3 gets the 200, more or less, and even more radius. You become like a sticky crab at will by simply picking one head. And don't forget that money collected by headshots and the bleeding of the explosive pressure will be automatically collected. They are shown in spread because of that. Your scout can pick them or even forget about them and still get the A+. In the end, you shall upgrade the explosive headshot to the max as soon as possible, because so you can reliably be sure to kill every medic and every class of 150 HP with a single headshot, irrespective of damage spread. Let's speak about the general upgrade path. Contrary to the other classes, you will be far from the battleground, so you won't need much resistances. Practically all the first money will go in the rifle upgrades mostly. Maybe some crit resistances in some crucial ways may be the exception. So far about the upgrades on the rifle, your path will be the explosive airship, the road and the damage to be maxed out together, then charge speed and penetration, and later on you may opt for HP on kill, ammo and whatever you want, so the Jurati if you have it, upgrading your bushwhacker, etc. About speaking of the bushwhacker, just know that once your rifle will be maximized as a damage and reload, it will overcome even an always in bushwhacker, as far as it hasn't been upgraded with speed, of course. But you won't upgrade your bushwhacker until maybe the last wave, instead all your money will be put in your rifle since the beginning. 
to take care of the tank with your rifle if you can and have ammo of course once it's maxed out bushwhacker if uh, a bath banner soldier is lying around maybe a good help until your rifle is maxed out of course now it's time to discuss about the primaries. The best all around, in my opinion, for MVM is the Hitman's Hitmaker, because those focus sessions shine. Just note now, as a sniper can solo kill a giant medic all by himself. It's your job, man. It's your job. Without saying, your only target must be the medic until he dies for you and your team. This time, with a couple of engine bolts that helped me to not having all the robots grow toward me, you'll see that I can solo kill the giant medic and the deflector heavy as well. Now time for another primary, frankly it's not my preferred, but I do know that players with a real good aim can take an opportunity in MVM for the Bazaar Bar game. It can become a real ultra fast charging rifle if you can assess heads after heads. If the mission is full of giants, slow-moving giants, I would consider using it. Still, it can be better of the Hitman's just early game, because once you have enough money to max out your Hitman's in uh, damage, as close to shirt, load and charging speed, you will top out the Bazaar game and will get the benefit of the Hitman's focus. Now time to discuss about the Machina, it's the max damaging rifle, yet its pro are only valid once you are full charged and since uh, I prefer to rapid firing in the scenario of MVM, I wouldn't consider it really the best rifle for this game type. A thing that you can do with the Machina if you want to get every time the full charge. On the other end, the 1035 damage reachable are fairly good. And I think to understand about the Machina is that it hasn't a reload penalty because of the unscoping and ability. You just hold your mouse button and you'll be firing at the exact same time of any other rifle, scope or unscope, it doesn't matter. You may see here the Hitmans as a comparison. If you really want to test the sniper, but uh, picking heads is uh, far too much for you, there is the Sydney Sleeper that can't add shot but apply your attitude. Problem is that in the past, Sydney Sleeper could explosive headshot despite uh, not uh, giving the 900 damage to the target, but the explosive headshot around was applied. Today, when I briefly tested this rifle, I couldn't get a single bleeding target kill. Strange. Very strange, maybe Valve has patched it, in this case it would be junk in my eyes. I 
doesn't have a footage for the primary is not worth using but we'll discuss briefly about them in the background you can see some footage with the explosive asset level 1 compared to explosive asset level 3 so let's speak about the huntsman and why i hate it it simply nullifies your medic picking ability because you can't explosive headshot with this junk one shot one kill isn't enough for me. You can't worth your weight this way. You need to be a crowd controlling machine. You need to be a medic picker while the Octo Heavies come. Finally, about the stock rifle, isn't bad on its own, but simply the Hitman Sit Maker is a better suited rifle for MVM because its downside, the body shot damage penalty, isn't really important because you will aim to the head anyway. And for the tank, remember, it's a building and the body shot damage penalty won't be applied to the Hitmans, so the stock uh, loses, frankly. Now, Time to discuss about the secondaries. Jurati is an obvious choice, but let's discuss about other viable options before. For example, let's see because someone may prefer the cozy camper. Your aim is very important in this uh, game type because uh, everyone in the team will wait you to assess the first shot to the giants and wreck all the medics around, for example. But what happens if this giant will start firing and you start flinching? In this case, the Cozy Camper comes to an help because even under heavy fire, you can assess that single shot that will kill the entire horde so that the team can push by its own. So, the Cozy Camper can be seen because the no flinching property that he has. Furthermore, the 1 HP regen isn't a thing that uh, passes, by the way. Anyway, in a normal scenario, I would recommend the Jurati. Still, remember that you aren't encouraged to use as much Jurati as your rifle. You must focus on rifle for upgrades. You will use your Jurati just in pesky situation to help your team. Leave the scout the job to put the slowing liquid to the super scouts. Just saying. Anyway, remember that the explosive extra damage, those 150, 175, 200 more or less, will be raised by the mini crits of the Jurati. It can help. Finally, the Razorback. If you feel you can hear the announcing of the incoming spy, it may help. But note that if spy will come in groups, you will die anyway, because they won't be afraid to stab a Razorback ever, one after the other. Just few words for the rest of secondaries that I don't think are worth using. And speaking of the Darwin Danger Shield, the SMG and the Clearance Carbine. The shield, because uh, its uh, explosive damage penalty doesn't go well in MVM, that's full of rocket spam or grenades, no thank you. And about the firing secondaries, no, you must use your rifle 100% of the time. You are not expected to stay in the front lines. They are garbage in MVM. Even fewer words must be spent for melee selection. 
Unless facing a spy or a tank, you won't be using melee anyway. Thus, any melee, different from the stock and its uh, skin, the frying pan and so on, or the bushwhacker, are worthless. For example, the triple man shi, the damage versus the tank is too weak, and so on. About the bushwhacker, unless a wave uh, full of powers, bushwhacker will be your favorite melee, because it will crit damage any robot under Dorati, and will help early waves with tank as soon as a buff banner soldier is around you, because it will crit always. Just remember what I said earlier though, your rifle, once maxed out, will do a better job of an always critting bushwhacker, believe me or not. So far guys, that's all for the sniper. I felt the need to discuss a sniper earlier than other classes because of the little love he shares globally. Frankly, it's awkward because it's one of the most powered class in MVM, in the right hands. Hope that this video has shown you the real power of such a class. But remember, low tours of man up, that despite his strength, prejudice will prevail if you are playing with randoms and you risk and vote keep. I suggest you to try the class later in a game. After some waves you can refund and pick the sniper for the last couple of waves. I think that fewer people will kick a guy that proved not to be at that weight as a different class already. So far guys, enjoy sniping! And thanks for watching.